Hello and welcome. Um, today I've actually stepped out of the multiplayer world and into a single player. I'm in a 1.6 build and the reason why I'm in this at the moment is I just wanted to uh, cover something that's been going on a little bit in the uh, Red Power replacement world. Uh, the Microblock Saga, and we've got Imibus versus this new multi-part Microblocks, and everyone seems to be raving about these new multi-part blocks, and I will certainly say that it has one ad distinct advantage over Imibus, but I'm going to display here how if Imibus can sort that one thing out, it has so many advantages over the other, that I just can't see why he can't just fix this one thing and just kill multi-part in my personal opinion. I have both running at this point and for its purposes I'll probably run the two and I'm going to try and get that in my multiplayer. Here is the issue with the multi-part that is not available in Imibus. You will see that we've got two micro blocks taking up one block space. We've got a pillar and we've got a slab across the top. I will demonstrate that and I will show you here. These are Imibus microblocks. We will try and represent the same thing using some Imibus blocks. You will see here I cannot, I have to place it on top. I cannot place it inside the block. Whereas if I do the same thing on a multi part, let's just create a multi part block for a moment. We'll just create the slab. And with one of those, we'll create some more. Oh, we've got some of them, but anyway, just to simulate, we do the one with the multi part block, and then we grab the other bit, and you'll see it'll sit on top or snugly underneath. And it takes up the same block space, and as you can see here, it'll use two different types in the same block. You'll see here, for example, one of the things they both compare very well these are immobile blocks two different types taking up the same space much as the multi-part ones. You'll see there is a bit of a bug in the naming convention on Imibus. I'm hoping he sorts that out. What's more the saw isn't looking right either. That's only a minor bug that's just happened in the recent 1.6 build. I think that should get sorted out with uh, builds coming up. The uh, biggest thing that you'll see here, I'm running the new, new MiRP uh, development build, so I've got marble here, and you'll see that that's working with the Imibus block. That's one big major flaw with multi-part, and you will see here we have marble from Numi RP. If we get the multi-part, it will not cut the mod block. What's more, forestry, the wood, will not cut. It will only do vanilla Minecraft blocks. The Imibus multi block will cut multi will cut all the uh, mod blocks. Forestry will cut those. It will do all of these blocks more than just the vanilla blocks, which in my opinion is a big asset. What's more, if we go over here, we shall with just a vanilla, we shall get a vanilla multi part block. And we'll turn that into the covers. We've got some stone covers there. And you'll see that if we get a build craft block, oh, we can put it on the outside. We can't put it in with the flush with the block. If we go to Imibus, we can. In fact, you could even cover them there, which, when you're using the anti covers, look really good. So you'll see there another big asset that Imibus blocks have over the multi-part. Something that maybe they each of the builders want to look at with their mods and see if they can fix it in each of the mods and make them on a par with each other. It's just something I wanted to show right now as a feature between the two and why, in my opinion at the moment, Imibus is winning the race still. They really only have one floor to fix. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again.